we have an onboard oiler, uh, the tank's here, and then the, the pump is driven here from this sprocket. Each outlet is colour coded, as you see, and that will tell you which port the oil pump is actually delivering oil to. It is possible to adjust the oil flow. Um, we would always recommend one tank a day is sufficient to keep the chains lubricated, but you can adjust the oil flow up and down here if you think it's too much or not enough. There are only two chains on, on the machine that aren't lubricated by this oiler, and they are on the wrapper, but I'll show you those as we, as we walk round. I'm a great believer in greasing oil. It's a very cheap mechanic. At the end of the day, if you blow the machine down with a leaf blower, you can then do your daily maintenance ready for the next day. The two chains I mentioned on the wrapper, one is under here and one is under the guard there. They're not on spring-loaded chain adjusters, so you've manually got to adjust the chain, but if you keep them adjusted and keep them lubed, they'll last the lifetime of the machine. We have two cam tracks on the, on the uh, pickup reel, so we've got a drive chain here and then there's a drive chain for the auger on the opposite side. Oiler to the chain, spring-loaded chain adjusters, as you see, on, on both chains and also on the auger drive chain here. There is a panel here that you can take off with four bolts, one there, one there, and two bolts underneath. With that panel off, you can get right into the pickup drive chain to check the condition of the chain, and at the same time, you can check the cam track bearings. We would recommend you replace this chain and the, cha and the drive chain on the opposite side once a season, just to keep on top of the maintenance. My way of farming.